For the presentation layer of the software heritage acquisition process, we introduce software stories. Software stories allows you to generate a multimedia overview of a software title once you've deposited the source code in the Software Heritage Archives. This collection we will walk through today is designed to highlight materials from the University of Pisa. The first story that we'll take a look at today is the story for Talmus. Talmus is a computer music synthesizer developed at the University of Pisa, and probably the best way to get a sense of what Thomas is like is to play this short video clip so you can see for yourselves. In addition to getting a sense for how this synthesizer worked, this is also an example of how you can embed video in a software story. The very first part of a software story is a landing page that has descriptive content so users can get a sense of what the software was like. You can also embed PDFs into a story so that you can read documents related to the software. In the relevant people section of a story, you can scan through and get some basic information about people who were related to the creation and development of the software. It's possible to embed YouTube videos into a software story so that if there is a video on the web that goes into more detail about the software or provides additional information about the software in use, you can include that in a software story as well. There is a timeline of key events related to the software. And here you can even put in uh, the publication dates of different versions of the software. And in this case, if we click on the Learn More button, we're actually taken out to the Software Heritage Archive, where we can actually see the specific repo for version 1. Similarly, for version 1.1, .1, if we follow this Learn More link, we'll go to the Software Heritage Archive and see the repo for version 1.1. .1. You can embed documents related to the software, either imagery or text. This is a gallery of images related to Talmus. All of these images are have been uploaded to Wikimedia Commons, and they're presented in a IIIF viewer called Mirador. If you open up this panel, you'll see all of the metadata from Wikimedia Commons relating to this picture. And then you can also scroll through the gallery of images, all which were originally uploaded into Wikimedia Commons, to see different aspects of what Talmus looked like and different images documenting the life of this software. Perhaps most important for people interested in the Software Heritage Archive, we have a specialized Talmus source code moment here where you can browse through the Talmus source code just as you would be able to in the Software Heritage Archive. You could also follow this link out to visit Software Heritage itself or open up this permalink and find additional information about how to view the Talmus source code within the Software Heritage Archive itself. We present an overview of all statements about the Talmus software coming from Wikidata. Wikidata, Wikimedia Commons, and English Wikipedia are some of the sources that are automatically integrated into the software stories stories. And finally, we have a learn more moment here on Talmus, where you can find all of the references used and all of the external identifiers that can help you find out more information about Talmus.